Yeah. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Good evening, everybody. I'm uh, glad to be out here tonight. I know a lot of you don't know me yet. If you drive through Leavenworth once, you see something you see familiar kind of on every street right now. So, uh, a little bit about myself. Uh, I am a lover of freedom. I'm a very forward-thinking businessman. And uh, I am running for your city commission. Right now. I, uh, you know, last year was, was it was really weird. Uh, I'm actually in business development, and so many manufacturers across the state, across the country, suffered loss in a lot of different ways. And like a lot of, a lot of you folks, I'm sure, felt like you were gut punched after last November's election. <laughs> I, I'll tell you what, I love my freedom. And when you see every day little bits and pieces and sometimes chunks of your freedom being taken away, you start you start getting disgruntled. You start getting down. And uh, I, I joined a team of folks that went around Leavenworth to uh, put together a, a petition against the mask mandate. Like there's got to be something we can do. We got to we got to put our feet down somehow. Uh, after much critical consideration, my wife and I uh, decided that this was the route the Lord had for us to, uh, to move forward to level work. So I'll tell you, I'm, I've been afforded the opportunity to get around and meet so many different individuals already in our community, different business owners, and, and have had a few conversations with our city commission. It's, been, it's become very clear to me, crystal clear, that the voices in our community are not being listened to at the local city commission right now. That's not acceptable. There's a lot of things that, that we can do. I've always seen, uh, you know, there have been so many people growing up that have said, hey, you know, Rick, you're not going to be able to do this. You're not going to be able to do that. And time and time again, I've been able to see and experience with the Lord, all things are really possible. Cool. Right. And there's, there's, there's so much more that we can do as a, as a city. There's, I've talked to a number of individuals, and I'm here in the common, common team. You know, I don't, Griff, I don't feel like I'm being listened to by the city right now. I really don't feel like they care about what I think. There's so much inconsistency. You, you've seen it tonight. Lack of transparency, no accountability. It has to stop. I'm going, to, I'm going to take a side step real quick. I am very encouraged by what we're already seeing in the state of Kansas. Even with our school board, you look down there at Sedgwick uh, uh, County, look at Wichita, we're already, our school board, the conservatives are outnumbering the Democrats running for school board by about a ratio of four to one. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. It is. One thing we cannot do, I mean, it might be June. You know, we're really just getting into campaign season. We, we've got to keep the pedal to the metal. We've got to keep the momentum going. Because if we don't, we lose. Right? But we're not going to do that. I know you all wouldn't be out here if we are going to do that. There, there, there's so many different things I can talk about when it comes to our city. A lot of different opportunities. You know, talking to our different uh, uh, business owners, there was one instance where they told me that They've seen even new businesses being stifled trying to come in to our town. That is completely unacceptable. We are not the experts on telling every business owner how they need to run their business. We need to be partnering with them, and I believe we can on a completely new level. I think we can get engaged and, and become connected to all of our citizens on a different level than what they're used to. And, uh, you know, folks are tired. I, I've heard it more than once. They're tired of the cronyism. They're tired of the good old boy system. And as you peel back the layers more and more, as I've even been learning about our city government more and more, you start seeing how much it stinks. Mm -hmm. And we can do something about that. I know you all are here tonight supporting us, and, and we really appreciate that. Uh, I will tell you, I'm, I'm very passionate about seeing others become successful. And I am looking forward to bringing a new life and energy to our city commission they have not seen for probably decades. Uh, love to get things shaken up a little bit, and, and uh, I, I really enjoy getting to meet all of you. Please get in my face. Please see my team. A lot of folks have asked, like, well, Griff, you got your family, you got your job. Like, why are you doing this? 
you know, this, this, why are you getting in the middle of politics? And you know, my wife told me early on, she's like, you know, honey, you know, that, and after November and everything, like, you gotta check your attitude. You can't change everything all at once. You need to look local. And we're planning on, Lord willing, raising our grandkids and loved ones. And we, we love our city. And we know there's, there's always something else we can do. So we definitely appreciate all your support. I will say this. We have not one time asked for a dime from anybody. And God has been pouring into the campaign. He has been bringing people to us. We are working together as a team. It's been crazy. You, you can look at digital marketing. You can look at people going door to door. The different people that are excited, they don't know how to get involved in local politics. They don't know what it takes. But people are also seeing how they can affect things in their community. They're seeing that one little thing, one phone call, one question gets a conversation going. I cannot begin to tell you how many people I've gotten to know. I've been blessed. I, I, I've been blessed so much already by all the people the Lord has brought by my path. So I'm really excited. And I'm going to tell you right now, the incumbents on the city commission are feeling the pressure. And I love it. <laughs> it's awesome. We've got to continue to push. We've got to continue to push because they feel it. They're trying to get signs out faster than we're knocking doors. And we're going to keep doing it, all right? But God's grace, we're going to keep doing it. I appreciate your support. I've been Bruce Martin, running for Love for City Commission. Thanks very much.